So as we're talking about these cooling towers, one of the things we're looking for, regardless of whether it's a evaporative condenser, fluid cooler, or open condenser water flow, is something that has a variable frequency drive. That means that it's going to control the system based on the need. So it's again tied to an energy management system. Sometimes it can be standalone, uh, depending on what it's sensing, which is typically temperature control, and trying to maintain a certain condenser water temperature uh, that goes back to the chiller. So instead of the old on-off or two-speed, low-speed, high-speed uh, cooling tower fans, these variable frequency drives can actually slow ramp up the cooling tower and then bring it down and just let it float at a lower level using less energy uh, rather than that hard start, hard stop uh, where you hear the belts chirping and it's harder on the motors and all of those things. This is much softer, uh, much easier on the equipment and has better control with better energy efficiency. So whenever we're looking at our cooling towers, a new cooling tower, uh, a replacement, or even modifying an existing cooling tower, we want to look at putting in a variable frequency drive.